This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stockrover. In this video, we'll show you how to use screeners to perform advanced filtering. We'll also show you how to use a screener to perform scoring and how to chart a screener. First, a word about screeners and filtering. In our introductory video entitled Screening in Stockrover, we covered basic screener filtering, which is applying a screener against the Stockrover Investment Universe of North American equities and ETFs, either all of it or well-defined subsets such as the S&P 500. Against that population, a screener will return the tickers that mirror specific investment objectives as defined by the passing screener filtering criteria. The available filtering criteria is comprehensive as Stockrover contains well over 600 screenable metrics which cover price performance, financial and operational metrics, as well as sector and industry metrics. In this video, we'll be covering advanced screener filtering, which is different than basic screener filtering. Rather than filtering against an investment universe, we filter against a well-defined data set. For example, perhaps we are a dividend investor and we would like to see how the tickers in one of our portfolios fares against a dividend screener. A screener's filtering criteria can be applied to any Stock Rover data set. When we apply a screener's filters, only the tickers that pass all the screener's filtering criteria can be displayed. For example, we can filter through the tickers that comprise portfolios, watch lists, other screeners, or any data set we load into the table, such as an index. We'll begin by navigating to World in the Start menu and load the table with the S&P 100 dataset. To filter the table, we'll go to the Screeners folder and right-click on a desired screener, in our case, Dividend Growth. We'll then select Filter Table. The table now displays only the tickers that passed all the Dividend Growth screener filters. The filters themselves appear in the white bar below the Views bar and above the table. The number of active filters is displayed at the top of the page in the blue bar. We can either click on the individual filters to remove them from being applied to the table, or we can click on the filter icon too. Let's remove all filters. A screener's filtering criteria can be used to score any Stock Rover dataset. Scoring means evaluating each ticker in the selected dataset and counting how many of the screener's filtering criteria the ticker passes. In our example, we'd like to score our portfolio tickers to see how they fare against a dividend growth screener. We'll go to World. We'll load the table with a large cap growth sample portfolio. We'll then right click on the dividend growth screener and select score table. This displays a score for each of the tickers against the screener. A score of 100%, 7 out of 7, means the ticker met all criteria of our screener. The tooltip provides additional detail as to what metrics passed or failed and why. Note, when we are in World and we select a screener, we can also right click to a shortcut to score a portfolio or a watch list. Stock Rover charts the returns of the tickers that currently pass a screener's criteria as a group. The tickers that pass the screener are charted as a portfolio with an equal dollar weighting for each holding. Additionally, via internal rebalancing, the equal weighting is maintained each day of the period that the screener is charted. To chart a screener, we'll select Screeners, and we can either right-click on the screener and select Chart, or under Screener Actions, we can select Chart Screener. Here we see the screener's performance charted, its dividend adjusted return against the S&P 500 benchmark over a five year period of time.
For more help on screeners, select Help under your Stark Rover username. And then select Screeners. Here you'll find well documented screener help organized by topic. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stark Rover and see all that it has to offer, as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.